and I am done! Oh my goodness, I love it so much. I could just die, look at this. It looks so fun. Buenos dias, mi gente. So yesterday we uploaded the video where Casey and I were speaking our languages. So it was like a trilingual vlog, which made me feel like ah, quiero hablar más español. And plus you guys really liked it, but I'm actually completely home alone. What? <laughs> Yesterday, Casey and I went in to go film JK News. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh my goodness, why did you leave your house? I am with you guys. But it's like, why did you leave your house? You're supposed to stay at home and be self-quarantining. And yesterday was the 21st day that we had been home or i guess it reset so i guess 20 complete days that we were quarantined like fully 110 percent like zero interaction with anybody from the outside world even with delivery people you know like they leave things on the front door and that's it in terms of me and casey we did our part to make sure we are not sick we haven't gotten anything and bart and joe they made it a point to be really careful to also self-quarantine themselves and anyone else who was involved in the shoot which was nelson and nadim and bart and casey uh and joe and so everyone that was in the the shoot we all made sure that everyone was like fully quarantined since the last time we shot making sure everyone's healthy and safe and willing to want to go into the office to film because our particular style of filming is it's really difficult to just do Zoom style filming uh, of a hundred videos or more because we, we upload a lot. So that's why the guys decided, okay, let's go into the office, let's knock some, some shoots off. Also, Bart called the mayor's office to, to make sure like, hey, is it illegal if we meet up and like do this, like if we're working? And then uh, the mayor's office said like, no, you guys are considered a media outlet, which it's still like considered essential. So, so yeah, yesterday we went to go film. So Bart created a schedule and implemented people like certain cast to be there for the next couple days that we're filming. And so Casey got to be there today, but not me, so, which means I'm home alone. And you might be wondering what happened with Isaac. So Isaac's dad, same thing. They have been fully quarantined and I'm like, is your mom gonna be okay? Like, I don't want her to feel uncomfortable if Isaac's coming over or anything. And he was like, no, we're good. Everything's good. Everything's healthy. Everyone's healthy. We're, we're doing fine. So bring Isaac over. So Isaac is spending the weekend at his dad's and he's really happy because he really misses his dad. And it's been cute because they've been FaceTiming a lot, but it's not the same thing, you know? That's what's happening. I'm all alone for the first time in like a long time <laughs> today we're supposed to be getting our blinds installed it's gonna be just one guy as far as i know it's just one guy that's coming in installing i'm gonna be making sure we keep our distance whatever he touches i'm gonna be disinfecting after like i'm just trying to take all the precautions necessary these blinds are actually overdue because usually they'll they say that it only takes about two weeks and then they would install it it's now been like about a month they were like yeah you know obviously things are slow so that's why it has taken this long um but now we're finally gonna get blinds and no more of these paper fake blind thingies so i'm excited to get blinds that's kind of cool so for downstairs in the living room i ordered this piece of furniture that's the kind of similar to the armoire a little bit like it reminds me of it a bit where it has like designs and whatever it's really cute i really love it it's supposed to be coming in today they tried delivering it yesterday but since we weren't home they couldn't leave it out in the front because of the fact that it was raining today luckily it's not raining so they're probably gonna leave it out in the front and then i just have to figure out how to bring it in by myself or maybe when casey gets home from jk news my plan is to line the stairs so let me go downstairs and get this thing hold on so remember how i talked about this wallpaper going into this bathroom so turns out i ordered two rolls and my math was off because the amount of rolls i, I ordered was not enough to cover this whole wall also the two rolls they didn't like fully match like the colors are a little off like the print on one of them is a little like smaller so it doesn't fully align so if it's up on a wall that will drive me crazy <laughs> so i decided instead of using this wallpaper for that wall i'm going to be using it to line up the stairs so actually we have a little example here because they where is it here it is so that's 
what our stairs are gonna look like. Initially, I didn't wanna use it for the stairs, like this particular wallpaper, because I was afraid that it was gonna be too girly. So that's why I was just like, oh, maybe I shouldn't use it. Casey was like, yeah, it, it, it's not like my most favorite, but you know what, I trust you. I feel like it, it might look good, so just go for it. We'll see how it turns out. Because I was telling him that the reason why I got this wallpaper is because I like, I like this piece a lot, the cat scratcher cactus thing with like the pink flowers. And I was like, yeah, it kind of like ties it in a bit. So if that piece is there with the stairs, it might make more sense. I don't know. I actually don't know if I have enough paper like to complete all the stairs. So we're just gonna have to find out later today. Today is April 10th. Tomorrow is the kitty's birthday. So we're gonna be celebrated somehow. I don't know how, cause I really don't know how to celebrate your birthday, Maya, but tomorrow's your birthday. You are turning, I believe, seven years old. You're gonna have a birthday. I like how they're enjoying the new cat treat. Oh, here's the other one. Hi, Joe. You old grandpa, you're getting older. Today I decided though, instead of coffee, because like I'll switch between coffee and matcha, so I'm gonna be making myself a nice cup of matcha instead today. And not just any matcha. We're gonna be doing some Junbi, Junbi matcha. This thing is so good and it's some quality matcha and I know I'm biased because Casey and I are involved with Junbi, but I'm also telling you the honest truth. This is some bomb matcha. Usually, the way you're supposed to do this thing is you pour some matcha in here, you pour water in here, and then you whisk it with this thingy. You whisk it really well with like the bubbles and like that's like the traditional way to make yourself a nice hot cup of matcha. But because that's a lot of work for me, <laughs> I actually just whisk it with the frother. So I, I just use this thingy that I use with my coffee as well. And then I get my nice frothy matcha. So I'm gonna make some right now. Hot cup of delicious ceremonial matcha from Jumbi. Great way to start the day. And then also some quick matcha facts in case you guys didn't know, which makes me really love matcha. Matcha actually helps whiten your teeth. Unlike caffeine and coffee, they stain your teeth. That's one thing. Another thing, matcha gives you that nice, clean, like healthy, energy boost and it doesn't give you that nasty crash that coffee gives you and doesn't give you headaches and I love it. It's like so much cleaner. I try to like fully convert myself to just matcha but sometimes I like that like I miss the coffee flavor so I'll I'll make myself a cup of coffee in the morning but I am so happy and so proud to be part of Jumbi. And then look we have single serve packets too so it comes with 10 packets and you can just prepare this anywhere you are. So you can like dump this in a cup in a bottle of water. And then you have this little packet and then you just like mix it up really well. And then you got your matcha to go. But I know no one's really going anywhere these days. So yeah, you can get yourself a tin though. Right there, There's, there'll be a link in the description and you guys can shop for your own Jumbi matcha. And yes, we do ship internationally. So you can check out and taste your own matcha and make your own matcha at home. <sighs> so good. And then every time I sip it, I'm always like, oh, it's making my teeth whiter. <laughs> okay, let's get started on this wallpaper project. Oh, and then also look how cute. The cup and the matcha totally matches the wallpaper. <gasps> that was unplanned. I like it though, it's so cute. Okay, bye. So, update, I could not start this project because another project happened, which is the blinds. The blinds people came and apparently, it was actually two people, I thought it was just gonna be one guy. But when they came, they both had masks on the whole time. They had gloves, I don't know. I, and I kept a very far distance, probably like more than six feet, I, I think at certain points. But yeah, look, we got our blinds. <sighs> They're nice and pretty. So these are called zebra blinds. And so the reason why I wanted these is because it actually like filters in the light when it's like this. But if I want to completely close it, 
and I just go like that. And then full privacy. Yay. I'm out of breath. And then also, if I want to just fully put the blinds up, I can do that too. All the way up, all the way up. Or oh, how does that song go? We're going all the way up. Oh, there's also another project I have today, which is putting this guy up on that glass. So we can have full privacy throughout the entire house now. And then, oh my gosh, it was so funny. So in order to get this thing installed, the guy was crazy. He actually got a ladder. Oh, and by the way, I extended this to be the full thing. Anyway, we got rid of all this. He put a ladder right here up to that ledge and him and the girl, it was freaking awkward because it's like dead silent here. And I was in the bedroom right here. So I could hear everything that they were saying. And the guy, he was kind of rude like to the girl. But anyway, in the beginning, he was saying, oh yeah, don't worry. Cause the girl was like, um, this is scary. Have you done this before? And the guy was like, oh yeah, I've done it a million times. Like, don't even worry, like countless times. The girl was like, okay. So then she's helping him. She's the one holding onto the ladder as he's like attempting to go and he's standing on the ladder. And then the girl's like, um, maybe you should crawl on it because like it distributes the weight more evenly and it won't be so shaky. And the guy was such a jerk. He's like, uh, crawling? That makes no sense. Only an idiot would be crawling. Why would you be crawling? Like, if you know so much, why don't you do it? And like, he was just so mean to her. And I'm like, I'm like in the room like, what the fuck? Anyway, he ended up trying, like attempting the first time and then he got too scared. And then the girl was like, well, I'm not gonna do it. Are you gonna pay my, for my bed, medical bills if I break my neck or something? He's like, fine, I'll do it. You don't wanna do it. Like, I got the vibe from them that she was like his assistant. Like, he's the one that is the one that's supposed to do it. So I'm like, why are you being such a jerk to her? Anyway, they tried putting the stairs I mean the ladder on the stairs and obviously like the their type of ladder it wasn't adjustable where one set of the legs could be shorter than the other so it was like there's no way that that was gonna work so then he attempts it again and then this time he's like oh, okay fine so he ended up just doing it and it, it got accomplished the blinds are up but the whole time i'm sitting there and i'm like what's this dude's problem because she kept trying to help him around throughout the whole house and then he'd be like give me that no like just give me that and then he'd be like cursing at her and i'm like dude chill out and it, it wasn't even the type of relationship where i'm like maybe they're together it's like a family business or like like maybe they're really good friends i don't know like it just gave me that vibe of like he's an abusive superior and i just felt for the girl i was like dude i'm sorry but anyway positivity here we got our blinds up so for the master bedroom i got these blackout kinds and then they're kind of um brown and shimmery and stuff so once they're fully Closed. They're supposed to be sort of blackout and it's not completely blackout blacked out which I'm perfectly okay with because I like having some light when I sleep because I'm a big old baby and I still get scared of the dark blinds and then over here the blinds oh yeah forgot to throw this away let me show you the other two rooms so Isaac's room Got the blinds. So for Isaac's room and for the office slash spare room, I decided to get like a silver. So this is the color of these two rooms. And these are also blackout blinds because the sun, like the majority of time comes from this corner over here. So this room and Isaac's room tend to get pretty hot. So that's the reason why I was like, okay, it's really important that these rooms get blackout blinds. Yay! We got them. We got them, Zoe. The color matches your fur. I got them because of you, you know. Just kidding. But yeah, let's just pretend that it was because of you. But yeah, I'm so happy we finally have blinds. Come on, Zoe. Okay, I still haven't eaten breakfast. Without Casey around, I'm like, who's gonna feed me? How am I gonna survive? I'm gonna, I'm gonna starve to death without my mans to feed me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna fix up some food right now and then get started on the stairs. Or maybe I should do the window first because then that's easier and that's, that could just be like done, done. So, okay, window next and then the stairs. All right, what do we think? Eh, eh, eh. 
Oh yeah, so remember how I complained last time about the film that I put on the upstairs windows and I said it was so impossible to do properly because I didn't have the proper tools? Well, I ordered a kit on Amazon and I, I got a whole bunch of this stuff and I got like two X-Acto knives and this blade and this really cool tool that allowed me to cut this with ease. So this made my job so much easier. So I highly recommend you guys getting a kit like this if you're trying to do film on your windows. It saves you so many, so many headaches. I'm so proud of this. It came out really, really nice. Woo! So all the all the windows are now fully covered. I laid out the rug here. So this rug is machine washable. So I kept seeing ads on it on Instagram and it's called Ruggable. Not sponsored, but I wish, please, if you want to sponsor me, there's so many more rugs I need to buy, so. But yeah, um, I ended up testing this one out because I'm like, let me see if I like it. And it's so good, it's like really good quality. And like you can like bunch it up really small and then put it in the washer because it comes with like the actual carpet and then a pad. So I don't know, I'm pretty happy with it just for this like immediate trial here where I'm using it. So the reason why I laid out the rug is because since we took out this, other couch it has been a lot more echoey in here so this it's still kind of echoey i don't know if you guys can tell but i can definitely tell it's still kind of echoey but it has helped muffle it so i put it down here in the meantime hey i just realized the tv stand hasn't came in yet and it's supposed to come in today what the heck i don't know i gotta call him okay now for the fun stuff an entire day and a half to complete because now it's the next day and I am done oh my goodness I love it so much I could just die look at this it looks so fun I am so happy with it oh how cute look at the cats <laughs> this project was intense and I made a lot of mistakes I learned a lot but it's done and I am so happy with it. I can't wait for Casey to get home and see the finished result because last night I just stopped at the first two steps and then I didn't even do the sides because man, this is a pain in the butt. I was trying to match up the pattern exactly so like it looks like it curves around it. That was really difficult, but I did it. I'm so proud of myself. As I was doing this, Aunt and Christina they stopped by and it was really cute because oh they came and they dropped off a whole bag of avocados so we got a ton of avocados now and so as i was working on the stairs i was like oh guys like come down and like just peek through because we can't you know social distancing we can't be really close so i was like way over here and they were like at the front of the gate and they were just like oh it looks great <laughs> like they're all peeking but I'm like, man, this sucks. I want to hug them and like say hi to Leia and Enzo because they're getting bigger every day. But yeah, that was really cute. And then, oh, by the way, the TV stand came today. So I kept thinking it was supposed to come yesterday like when this video started, um, but no, it was today. So it's here. Now I got to move all those boxes and fit the TV stand there. <sighs> I feel so accomplished, like I'm so freaking happy. This looks so good. And then remember how I was saying how like the patterns didn't really match up between the two rolls? Well, you can't really tell, can ya? You can't at all. I love it, oh my God, I love it. I love it, I love it. <laughs> okay, bye, I'll see you guys next time. And open your eyes. Oh, snap. <laughs> Dude, it totally transformed the stairs. Do you like it? Oh my goodness. We're going to the jungle. Yeah. Oh, it makes it so fun now. Mm -hmm. We have a fun staircase. That's what I said. Yeah, oh, like, it looks so fun. Let's have dinner here. <laughs> <laughs>